Our planet Earth is unique among the other celestial bodies. Its surface is covered by three-fourths of water. Out of this, 97% is salty sea water present in oceans, seas and saline groundwater. 2.5 to 2.75% is of fresh water which includes frozen in glaciers and polar ice caps. Remaining 0.7 to 0.8% is of fresh groundwater and soil moisture and less than 0.01% of water is usable to us which are found as surface water in lakes, swamps and rivers. As only 0.01% of water is usable to us from the entire fresh water, we need to use it carefully so that it shall last for a long time. Now, this study tells us how the people in villages utilize available water resources by giving proper guidance. Kotapalli is situated in Karimnagar district of Telangana state. A survey was conducted in Kotapalli village which showed that there were more extensive dry land areas than irrigated land. Literacy rate was low. Labor was scarce. They have used more fertilizers or pesticides on small farms. Crop yields were very low. There was no system of water harvesting in the entire village. To enhance the productivity and income of this village, certain soil and water conservation measures were taken by the government. International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, ICRISAT, involved in the process and educated the villagers in large numbers and provided technical support for cost-efficient water storage and soil conservation structures. The measures were taken for both the community-based intervention, individual farmer-based intervention. First, let us learn about the community-based measure taken by the ICRISAT. Community-based interventions 14 water storage systems were constructed out of which one is Athen and the remaining 13 were Manasuri dams. The water storage capacity of these systems was 300 to 2000 cubic meters and 60 small percolation tanks and field bundings were constructed on 38 hectares land and also 28 dry open wells were constructed near Nala or the Lakshmi Canal. Dikes or barriers were built in the Nala to retain the runoff water into it. They formed an user group for each water storage system and the water collected in these systems was extensively used for recharging the groundwater to the dried wells. Now let us learn farmer-based interventions in detail. Farmer-based interventions Farmer-based soil and water conservation techniques implemented in individual fields were broadbed furrow BBF, landform and contour planting. These are the methods useful for conservation of soil and water, fertilizer application and weeding operations, field bunding of 38 hectare around boundaries in rectangular or in contours to conserve rainwater. Glaricidia trees were planted on the field buds in order to strengthen them and make the soil rich in nitrogen components. Farmers were encouraged to use water resource jointly and to utilize micro-irrigation techniques to irrigate the land. By using broadbed furrows and micro-irrigation techniques, farmers have gained 250 kg PZNP and 50 kg maize per hectare. Drip irrigation is a micro-irrigation technique which can reduce water consumption by almost 70%. But only 2% of cultivable land around the world is irrigated in this manner.